I'm entering that command just that I want to feed the root to command execute commands as root and then uh, you can see that our directory is uh, empty and what we need to do is to download the mining software onto our server and we are going to use the wget uh, system okay oops sorry so as we did you go back to this site okay xmr rig okay and then you click download okay after clicking download you choose linux because i'm going to use linux and then you select a uh, static cpu only that one will help you better okay because you are going to mine using cpu and then you just copy so don't click download just copy this command okay you copy that command and then you click cross after clicking cross you just come back to your console here you type in widget then you paste that command okay and then you enter so the system has been downloaded the xml rig and uh, we are successful so we can even clear this and then we type in ls so you can do these things onto your server actually you can do these things on your on sorry on your android phone so don't mind about uh, Okay, our next step is to extract, since the, uh, you can look at this file as a, it is a, a, a zipped file or a complex file. And what we need to do is um, to extract its content and we need to just paste this command. Okay, then we click enter. You can see that uh, we have all the, all the requirements which we need, like all the systems. And what we need to do is to change directorate and we go to the our downloaded script. So you just need to follow the commands which I'm going to use. So when we check this, when we check uh, the contents we have already here, we have that. And what we are going to do is to change directorate to the XM rig. And um, okay, sorry, this XM rig. Okay. Six point. Okay. And uh, if we check what is inside there, you can see we have uh, our miner, which is the one you're seeing over here. And uh, what we need to do is to first delete this because we are not going to use it. Okay. Okay. What we need to do right here is to first remove that. So I'm going to relieve the commands and uh, we, all you need to do is to just copy and paste, okay? That one. So we've removed that one. We don't need it. Then we have our XMR rig. And our next step is to just paste a single command which will mine quick coins for us. And what we need to do is to just go back to our XMR rig and we click wizard. <coughs> Sorry. And then you add new configuration. You select add pool. And then you choose the pool which we selected. Remember, uh, we chose this pool. Okay, where is it? Okay, let's go. Just let's just pick it again. Okay, you can see that we chose this one. And uh, if we go back, we shall just select it. And then we paste our address. Remember, our address is uh, from our Monero stuff. Oh, they logged us out. Okay let's use existing wallet and uh we just paste the the words which they gave us so that we can log in hope you can see that uh okay and then we click next okay we are into our wallet and what we need to do is to copy this and then we come back here and we paste it and then you select add pool okay then after that you come over to back end and you select only cpu and then you come over here to donate you only give them the list because that donation will go for the man for the uh, for the makers of this system and then you come back here you come to results 
So since you are going to reuse command line, I'll use uh, Linux. You come here and choose Linux and then you copy, select copy. Then after copying, um, you come back here, here to your server. And what you need to do is to just paste the command which you've copied from the site, okay? You paste that and then you just select enter. Okay, hope you can see that our system have started mining and uh, we are using a random a random X that uh, the good thing with Monero, it is, uh, okay, the good thing with this is that uh, your CPU won't be overused to 99% or to 100%. So you expect uh, less issues from your provider pertaining uh, crypto mining or uh, coin mining, okay? So th th that's the thing you need to do. And uh, if I told you have a lot of other servers, you can use them and uh, you mine crypto to your wallet. So the other way we can check and see whether we are mining, you can get your address uh, and the address which you have from your account here. Okay, and you come back here, okay, to this pool. Okay, to verify that uh, you're mining, and uh, remember our system is already running here. So to verify that we are mining and uh, the system is detecting our coins, all you need to do is to go to the home page of XMR pool, and then you scroll down here, okay, and uh, you enter your ID or your my Monero ID, okay? You come back here, you copy it, and then you come here. Okay, okay, and then you scroll down, then your mining statistics, okay? You enter this, your ID, and then you say look up. Okay, you can see that uh, your pending balance is zero, uh, reward is zero, okay? And uh, when you look, you can look at your hash rate, it's here, okay? So most of, if you're new to mining, remember the higher the hash rate, the higher the high chance, or you're more, the better the chances of getting uh, something in back. So that means the more servers you have for mining, the more, the better you'll be having. And uh, you can see the hash rate submitted, okay? Uh, last share submitted, okay? And you, it keeps on updating. And you can see each and every thing running here, okay? So the more servers you have, the more you will getting paid back. So I believe that it was my honest tutorial for you guys and I believe I've explained each and everything. If I've missed out something, don't forget to leave everything in the description of this video, sorry, in the comment box. If I missed out something, don't forget to comment in the comment box as well. You can, you can go to our blog and you read about each and everything I've explained into this video. With that, remains Scott, you meet another video. God bless you.